everyone, it is Aurora Sims and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time ever clicking on one of my videos. Hello, how are you doing? I am Kennedy. What's your name? Oh, high five. How you doing? Anyways, so um, today is the first part of my new Let's Play. It's The Sims 3 Supernatural. Now, I have not done an expansion pack Let's Play in like literally a year, maybe a year, year and a half or so. I don't even remember, uh, but it's been so so long since I've done an expansion pack based let's play and since a lot of you guys did request for me to try out Supernatural and to do Supernatural I really wanted to I was kind of on the fence between either Showtime or Supernatural and I haven't really ever gone into the Supernatural aspect like it's never really been something that I've been like a hundred percent interested in because it's one of those things that I feel like is sort of separate between the Sims 3 you know like if you're playing a regular family you don't want Supernatural natural beings in your neighborhood because they're annoying but you know if you're playing supernatural you don't want humans in there because they're annoying you know what I mean so that's just kind of <laughs> how I feel like it goes for me and my own personal gameplay and so I really wanted to kind of explore the supernatural aspect because I've never really gotten the chance to do so so I'm going to treat this like a regular expansion pack let's play this is not going to be like any of my other let's plays on my channel I'm just going to kind of play and there's not really going to be much drama and craziness like all my other let's plays it's just going to be kind of a normal thing so if you guys enjoy that then keep on watching with a little bit of crazy and in, in between but that's just my natural crazy that's how I am. So um, I'm going to go ahead and introduce to you guys to the characters and show you their traits. And then we are going to go ahead and get on into the nitty gritty bow bitty. OK, so this is Layla Renee. And if you guys do remember, I actually created her in my create a sim that I did a while back. Um, I think it was like a week or two ago. I did a create a sim, but I basically just changed her up a little bit and made her a little bit more fairy like. So Layla is our fairy, of course, as I've said before, her wings are actually white which I was gonna make her blonde kind of like Tinkerbell but I felt like that would just be kind of like a ghetto version of Tinkerbell and you know I wanted her to be her own individual I wanted her to be Layla so I really do like her I love her little pink thing that she's going got going on and she's super super cute and I'm actually using the fancy full ferns for her wings so she's super cute and um a little bit about Layla. She is her personality. Her traits are she is excitable. She's neat. She is over emotional. She's a social butterfly and she's also a supernatural fan, of course. And since this is supernatural, I did try to keep all of our lifetime wishes around the supernatural aspect. So her lifetime wish is to be a magic makeover. Basically just is you can grant 12 different Sims inner beauty and also level reach level. Level 10 of the charisma skill so of course our girl here is probably going to be a social butterfly she's gonna have a lot of friends and know a lot of fairies hopefully throughout the town and um yeah, so she also, it says the fairest fairies know that everyone could use a little inner beauty, but it also takes a charismatic fairy to really know what inner beauty is. Teaching Sims about inner beauty won't be easy, but it's a lesson well worth teaching. Spread the beauty and everyone will have a better day. Yes, queen, we could definitely live by that motto. So her favorite color is pink. She is, she loves island music and her favorite food is fruit parfait and she is also an Aquarius so that's a little bit about our girl Layla here and our next supernatural being is Ronan Kachiro he is actually our werewolf of the group and I kind of I was really excited I kind of wanted to do a vampire but then I felt like that was kind of typical I watched a lot of other supernatural let's plays and they either had four characters and then they would have like a vampire a werewolf a fairy and a witch but I just kind of wanted to take out the vampire aspect Aspect because I've already explored it enough I feel like that was one thing that I definitely explored a lot of was the vampire thing but I kind of just wanted to explore things that I hadn't really fully gotten the experience from so I wanted to make ourselves a werewolf and let's be real okay let's be real if anybody's watched Twilight or Teen Wolf or Vampire Diaries or any of those type of shows or movies werewolves and vampires 
could not live in the same house. Let's be real, okay? So <laughs> I had to pick one, and of course, Werewolf will win every single day of the week, just how it is. So I tried to make Ronan here a little bit werewolfy. I gave him this sort of tan here, and uh, I gave him this like brown little swooshy hair. I felt like that fit him a lot. I kind of inspired him off of Taylor Lautner. I know that's kind of weird, but he was actually the first werewolf that I fell in love with. <laughs> and so I definitely did inspire it off of him. I was not a Twilight fan at all, but Taylor Lautner, mm, yes, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, but anyways, so this is Ronan's traits. He loves the outdoors. He is a mooch. He is a night owl. He's perceptive, and of course, as everybody else has, he is also a supernatural fan. And then his lifetime wish is to be the leader of the pack. He wants to convert five Sims to werewolves and five 40, 000, find 40,000 simoleons worth of objects while hunting with the pack. So hopefully he can be the alpha of the pack, and I'm hoping that we can actually form one, and that would be really, really fun. That's like one of my big objectives, as I want by the end of this Let's Play to be able to form a legitimate pack. That would be pretty cool. So his favorite color is black. He loves dark wave music and his favorite food is grilled cheese. On to our next supernatural character. This is Zara Variella and she is our witch. You know, I could not have a, a let's play without Bonnie. Okay. If Vampire Diaries reference anybody. Anybody? No? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so I love witches. I've been fascinated with witches since I was a little kid, so I, you knew that I had to put a freaking witch in here. I love it. I love the stories and just everything. Witch movies literally are everything to me. I wish there were more out there. I feel like there's not enough movies about witches, but they'll make vampire and werewolf movies any day of the week. But witch movies? Uh-uh. Not enough, okay? You need to get on that Hollywood. Anyways, <laughs> so um, this is Zara Variella and she is super, super cute. And um, yeah, she is a beautiful witch here. And of course, we have her personality. She is a artistic sim. She is a cat person. Of course, she's a witch. She also loves the outdoors. She is a perfectionist and she's also a super natural fan. I had a lot of other traits that I wanted to give her, but I felt like these really incorporated with the witchy aspect. And of course, I want her to be able to like you know, do alchemy and master that and just do really good in that aspect. So I felt like she definitely had to be intelligent and artistic and things like that to really fulfill in her in her witchy, witchy brews. So, um, yes. So our lifetime wish is the alchemy artisan. I think that's how you pronounce that. She wants to reach level 10 in alchemy and she also wants to use 50 alchemy elixirs. So I would read through all of these, but honestly, I just kind of want to get into the gameplay. But, um, if you want to, you can go in your game, read it. It's really much, just very self-explanatory, pretty much says what exactly we have to do here. Um, and then, of course, her favorite color is turquoise. Her favorite music is soul. And her favorite food is potato and truffle tort. So what we are going to go ahead and do. Oops, wait a second. I forgot to introduce our little kitty. You know, I could not <laughs> have a supernatural let's play with a witch without a black cat. Th that was just inevitable. We had to have the black cat. So this is Z. She is our little kitty and she is super, super cute. Her traits, of course, she is friendly, a hunter, and she's also pretty independent. She's an independent woman, okay? I bet Beyonce would be so proud. Anyways, you guys, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and go on into the town that we are located in and we're going to search for a house. And yeah, I will see you guys there. All right, you guys. So we are in the town of Moonlight Falls, of course, because this is a supernatural let's play. I felt like it was only right that we were located in Moonlight Falls. The only bad thing about this town, which I've kind of noticed, is there's not many places to live, but it definitely is a big location and there's just kind of a lot of open space and there's a lot of big houses my dream is to be able to freaking live in that house or like be able to live in some huge huge house and have just this amazing sort of thing going on but of course we have to start small to get where we want to go so this is the craftsman's mansion and it is two bedrooms one bath it's 19,000 kind of just want to see what it looks like in the inside 
because <laughs> to be honest, I don't want to screw myself over and buying a house. Yeah, have you ever had that happen? Like where you buy a house in The Sims and it's just not beautiful and you just screw yourself over in the process? Um, There's two bedrooms. I guess the girls could share but I would really like a three bedroom that would be freaking awesome and I know we're probably not going to be able to find one for the price that we're looking at we've got two bedrooms one bath um one bedroom one bath one bedroom one bath I think there's like literally only four houses that we can buy which kind of sucks gonna be quite honest uh two bedrooms one bath I like this one though it's it's really cheap and apparently it comes with an office and no one having to eat out thanks to the kitchen. Okay, let's see what it looks like on the inside. I'm a little cheater. I like to see what I'm getting. I'm going to be quite honest. So I'm, I'm a little bit of a cheater. Hmm. I like this one, actually. It's, it's very simple and it's not too much. And I kind of like it. And of course, we can always grow on it and furnish it later on down the road. I'm not going to furnish it on the first part, but hopefully in the second part, everything will be furnished and ready and beautiful so we can have her done. But we are just going to go ahead and move on in to the to the slot. It looks nice. I like it. I'm very happy about it. Okay, so the uh, yes, we want to enable story progression. No, we do not want to do that. Anything else? Any other pop-ups? Uh, homeless Sims? Well, yes. Okay. And then we've also got some online stuffs going on, these gifts over here. And a supernatural wind is blowing. Okay, so apparently our fairy, we actually get this little magic bar, which I never knew that fairies even got. I've never, 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 never in my life explored the fairy aspect. So this is going to be really exciting. I'm really excited to play with Layla. Like she is going to be my go-to character, I think, to play with only because... I've never played with the fairy. I've played with the witch and I've played with the werewolf. I haven't fully like gone into the exact career. Like I haven't career. What girl? I haven't fully gone into the supernatural aspect of a werewolf and a witch, but I haven't tried a fairy at all. Like I've never, never played with the fairy and I'm just very excited. Okay. So first things first, we do need to Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. We need to add in an extra bed. And I love how this bed already has butterflies in it. Like they know, they knew that Layla was coming. They was ready for it. So really quick, what we are gonna go ahead and do is I kind of want Layla and um, Zara here to get pretty close. So we're gonna be funny. And we're gonna tell her a funny story about the other day when we saw a witch and uh, she was just real nice and real, real studious, real kind. And, okay, attention property owners, ownership has been updated to the digital age, okay? Nobody really cares. We're gonna go ahead and be friendly and just kind of chat with her a little bit, enthusiast about brooms, and just kind of talk to her about random stuff. Kind of develop a friendship of some sort. They could, you know, at least be cordial, I guess is what you could call it. Where is Z? We need to get some stuff for little Z bear, but she's just kind of over there chilling for a little bit. And of course, our werewolf. I kind of want to see what he looks like in his wolf form. So I'm kind of going to, I'm going to transfer him into a wolf. I never actually saw that, which I kind of want to, kind of want to see what he looks like. I'm a little bit curious. Come on. You doing it? Ah, this is so cool. Okay, so he is. Why is he blonde? What? Who is this? Where did Ronan go? This is not. What the heck? Oh my gosh! What? What is this? And I like how I like how Z's butt is just in the background. Like, hey, sniff me. No, I was kidding. Okay, so apparently. Z, I mean, not Z, Ronan. All right, whatever. I always want to call him Rowan because of Rowan Blanchard from Girl Meets World. I've been watching that a lot lately. And then also Girl Meets Pixels. I'm watching her Showtime series and one of her characters name is Rowan. And I was so like skeptical to not call him Ronan because I thought those were names were too close. But then I was like, well, he's a boy. And, you know, so are you seriously peeing yourself right now? Are you seriously peeing yourself? 
<laughs> she's scared because she saw Ronan turn into a werewolf. And of course, Zara like doesn't even care. She's just like, whatever, you know, it's normal. Okay, girl, uh, you need to freaking get your life together. We need to go and like shower or something. Do something with our lives because right now you're just not killing it. So we're going to go ahead and um, shower really quick. And Z's just on the toilet, chilling, licking, licking whatever the heck is on the toilet. I don't even know. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Layla literally fainted. She's done with Ronan's crap. She is... Are you kidding me? The first episode, girl, and you already screwing things up. Like, you get yourself together right now she literally fainted in her own pee might i add um this little girl is like what the heck just happened so we have received the newspaper and what i think i want them to all do is i kind of want them to go and uh search for some jobs or get a job so we need to go ahead and get our dude to transform into his human form because obviously he scared the hell out of layla and she is just done with life right now stepping in her own freaking pee zara is like you need to get your freaking life together girl you just need to get your life together so we are gonna go ahead and let Ronan search for a job because that is a necessity he needs to have a freaking job we gotta we gotta get a job life together so he's gonna go do that and I think that Zara is probably gonna go inside and play with her magic for a little bit what is okay so are you doing your your job hunting yes you are I love this dude. He's really cute. I actually really like him. Okay, so we could do the business career. We could do music, political, business, music, political, business, music, political. <laughs> Literally all we can do. Um, I don't really see him in any of these. Let me, okay, I probably should have checked out his traits first. Um, hmm. I could see him in a more interactive career, but I definitely don't think that I could see him. Hmm. Let's see if we could find a profession maybe and look at those and see if there's anything interesting. But if we do get a profession, he would have to be the only person with a profession. Okay, so we have the architectural designer. We've got the singer, the lifeguard. He could be a stylist, ghost hunter. <laughs> that would be kind of weird. Uh, daycare. Hmm. I don't like any of these. Maybe, maybe we could just go out on the town and look for a job because I feel like I'm not really feeling any of these jobs. I really don't know what I want him to do, though. He could be a cop or an investigator. Hmm. I kind of like. Maybe we could be a cop. I could see him being a cop. That would be interesting. We're going to go over to the police station and uh, he's going to go look for a job as a cop at a cop cop. And hopefully he can go do that. He also wants to buy an alchemy station, join the firefighter career. Wow, we really should have done. <laughs> really should have got that out of the way. Whatever. Um, and then we, he also wants to talk to Z. And Zara wants to join the music career. Wow, that's really strange. Also want to learn the alchemy skill and buy a pet bowl. And we got to do all this stuff because it is really, really important. So you want to join the law enforcement career. Really? I could not see her in law enforcement. She literally just fainted and peed herself when Ronan turned into a werewolf. You really think you could be in the law enforcement career, girl? Get your life together. I don't think that would happen. Let's go and see if we can maybe um, find her a job. I Maybe she could be a school teacher or something. I feel like she'd be really good with kids. I feel like, Ro not Ronan, I feel like Layla would be really good with kids. So maybe we could go down to the, or maybe we could even work at the salon could be a stylist. Mm, no, but that's interactive. And I honestly am lazy and don't want to do that. So maybe we could just get her to be, maybe she could be a doctor. That would be kind of interesting. We could join the science career. But I feel like that's something that uh, Zara would be good at. Or she could join the cooking career too. That would be pretty cool. Hmm. 
I don't know. I'll just let Ronan get his job and then the girls can decide what they want to do later on. Definitely leave in the comments down below what you think uh, Zara and Layla should do with their careers because I could definitely see Zara either being a cook or something like that or even just staying at home and working on alchemy. But one thing I do want to do is I want to go ahead and buy an alchemy station while we have the money. That's like a big, big, big aspect of this Let's Play is the alchemy career and all the stuff like that so definitely want to get that let's go ahead and uh kind of separate this a little bit i need to delete some content which is why my game is probably a little bit stuttery right now and because my computer's been on literally all day like i have not turned my computer off at all it has been on all day and I need to stop doing that, but I just, I can't stop. It's just a habit. I, I have a habit of like keeping my computer on and it's really bad and I should stop doing it, but I'm stubborn and I don't listen. So anyways, um, <laughs> we could put the, maybe the alchemy station could go. That's kind of weird to have it outside though. I kind of want it inside of the house. So maybe we could put it in this corner. Is it even going to fit? I don't think so. Do, 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 do. Hold on. We got to move this light and then we should be able. Yeah. Okay. So our alchemy station is going to go right there and we should be able to work on it. There is not a lot of light in this room. Like I honestly cannot see to save my life. Anyways, we are just going to go ahead and let Zara research some alchemy for a little bit and uh, Z is just kind of chilling doing her cat thing so we're gonna let her do that and just kind of uh, work on our work on our alchemy let me see where we are at time because we're at 25 minutes not too bad not too shabby I don't want to make the first episode too long but still want to give you guys some quality quality content I'm hoping to post the next episode later on in the week but you know uh ronin has just had his first encounter with a vampire oh that's not a good thing <laughs> so anyways i am letting zara work on her alchemy still and uh sorry i kind of like went away for a second you guys probably didn't notice because of editing but um i had some family business to take care of so that is all good and now we are back to the uh to the game i'm still getting some shuddering here i think i do have to update my graphics card because it keeps saying that there's an update but i haven't done the update yet and that's probably the issue um so i definitely need to get that updated i'm just lazy and i don't like who wants to wait for an update i know i don't anyways so uh our dude here is just kind of <laughs> over here in the in the city he actually has a job now which is pretty exciting so he is going to be a snitch he is level one of the law enforcement career of course and uh we do need to get up his logic skill but as of right now he's doing pretty good this guy looks like he could be a werewolf or a serial killer either one uh but he definitely um yeah he's a werewolf definitely okay so is there anybody else here that is interesting there is this girl her name is elise she looks like a freaking vampire and what is up with that nose like, that nose is crazy. That nose is telling some stories, I betcha. I think this girl, I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. But it's kind of hard to tell with the people in this town, like, what they are. Unless they're fairies and they literally have wings coming out their back, then that's a different story. But there are a lot of cool stuff here. Like, there's a lot of, like, uh, mushrooms and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and actually get him to harvest these because why not we need the extra cash there's some other stuff here as well so we're just gonna go ahead and grab those and let me see is there anything else we could grab there's some bell pepper hmm and it's pretty rare so i guess we'll get that too so apparently layla has found an uncut ruby that is 32 dollars. not that great but it's decent and uh how is zara doing on her searching here she's not doing too shabby not too shabby 
Uh, we do need to go ahead. I actually have to go ahead and end this part right on here. I want to thank you all so, so, so much for watching part number one of The Sims 3 Supernatural. Definitely let me know what you think about the series down below. And I will hopefully be posting a new episode either sometime early this week, like maybe the next day. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this series. I'm super excited to continue it. And I'm really excited to see where this series goes and as I said excuse the lag I have to update my graphics card I swear to Jesus when I close this game I will do it I swear I'm just it's laziness you guys I'm so lazy I don't want to do it but anyways as I said I hope you all enjoy this video don't forget to leave your comments down below I love hearing them I want to thank you guys so much for 2,000 of you amazing amazing people it just means the entire world world to me that you guys follow me and that you leave comments and that you like my videos it just I can't even tell you guys how much you mean to me and I wish that I could like give more back to you than right now what I have been but yeah as I said before thank you guys so much for being so amazing thank you for being so supportive thank you for all your lovely comments and everything in between and I hope you guys continue to support this series and love this series as much as I do as of right now um, but yeah, anyways, I love you guys. Don't forget to have a very, very sexy day, as I always say. And I will catch you all in my very next video. Adios, muchachos.